How do you stretch loose carpet and get paid in the process? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break it down. Woods cracking hits, Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com, and we got one nasty bubble in a living room here. So, when the bubble's running like that, you wanna stretch it out to this wall. Now, the tools I'm gonna use in this, we're gonna use a crab stretcher, also known as the mini stretcher. We need a hammer, we need a hook knife, we need a knife, and we need a kicker. Now. I am adding some sinker nails into this tack strip here because I'm going to use the crab stretcher to pull all that slack out to this wall. Now those closet doors right there that are closed, if I was to open those, an avalanche of stuff would fall out and bury me forever. So this is going to be a little bit tricky here, but we're still going to pull it out because typically you would have to get into that closet as well to get that stretch nice and tight. So as you can see, working my way across here, adding lots of sinker nails to this old tack strip here. We wanna make sure it does not pop out and come apart on me. And once that's all enforced, ready to rock, look at me just swinging away, swinging a miss. Once it's all reinforced, ready to rock, then we can go ahead and get ready to stretch. But when you're setting your nails in this, set them about six to eight inches apart and go all the way down the length there. That's gonna make sure the crab stretcher doesn't pull it out of the ground and you get all frustrated. You gotta go back to square one and reinforce force everything so i'm going to set the camera back here so you could watch this monster of a bubble slowly shrink and get pulled out to the wall here we go just put that crab stretch around look at that massive bubble up against the wall and when you're doing restretches if you're new to this and you have a real nasty bubble like this when you stretch it out the bubble will lay flat but you will see where that bubble was because the nap of the carpet takes shape of the bubble. So you'll still have that line there. The way to get rid of the line is consistent vacuuming and have it steam clean one time. Steam cleaning will kind of relax all the fibers. Then the beater bar on your vacuum will go ahead and blend everything back in and you'll be good to go. But yes, you can stretch it out. The bubble will be nice and flat, but you'll have a crusty line in there until you steam clean it and then consistent vacuuming. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the carpet out of this metal from the foyer here. We'll have to restretch all of that as well. But the key thing here, get that bubble down. Now let's talk about the money side of this. Now we did a bunch of repairs throughout this place, but let's say you just showed up to restretch out this one bubble right here. Well, depending upon your marketplace, this is a minimum of $75 to do this. And you could also get upwards of $125 just for a bubble like this. It depends on your sales skills and the marketplace, what the going rates are. But if nothing else, $75 and something like this set up and actual installation time, 30 minutes or less, easy. So keep that in mind there. If you're looking for that side hustle, all you need is a few affordable tools, very basic stuff, and you are in the carpet repair stretching business. I got far more videos on this over at carpetrepaircheatcode.com. But in the meantime, just know that this is super normal. It's a regular thing with carpets. They do relax and bubble out, and when they do, Either you could stretch them out yourself or you could hire somebody for a quick 75 bucks or you become the business person and you start your own repair industry. And on top of it, most carpet cleaners are a great source of leads for this type of work because they don't do the repairs, but they'll gladly throw you the lead.